This is Brian Jepson here at the June 2013 Providence Geek Dinner with Mike Rowan, who's not just of SendGrid, but he's got he's got all the smart people because he's he's SendGrid R and D. You guys are based where? So our headquarters for SendGrid proper is actually in Boulder, Colorado, and we have other offices in Denver and Anaheim, California. Uh, but my office, which is uh, Sengrid Labs, Sengrid R and D, is based right here in Providence. So how did you? So well, let, let's back up. I want to ask you how you wrangled that. But first, um, tell us what Sengrid is. So Sengrid is a transactional email company. Uh, basically, we like to say that we send all the emails that you, as an email recipient, want, and the emails that the businesses want you to get. So, for example, when you sign up for a website or a new service, you typically get an email that says, click here to verify your account. If you don't get that email, you as a consumer, you're disappointed because you can't complete the account verification process right. and get your account. So you keep those emails out of the spam bucket. We keep them out of the spam bucket, and they're, they're typically emails that always emails that the consumers want and if the business doesn't get them to you in the inbox they don't get you as a customer right. you want to be a customer right so they pay some amount per transaction yeah they basically pay for email sent through our service and there's different levels of plans we have free plans going all the way up to very high volume plans we have customers that start out and send a hundred emails a month and we have customers that send a hundred million emails a month through our infrastructure wow so how did you convince SendGrid to set you up as their R&D arm. So I don't know if I would say convince them. I think it was mutual. Right? Nice. So uh, I've known the Sengrid folks for, for quite a while. Uh, in particular, one of the founders of Sengrid, uh, his name is Isaac Saldana. And uh, I've known them for a few years since they started as a technology company. And uh, when I was starting a recent company just at the uh, beginning of 2012, uh, it, was, it was a company focused on building developer tools to help developers. And SendGrid is in that realm of helping developers. And it just seemed to make sense to say, hey, why don't we do this as a SendGrid initiative and continue to help developers just like we do today, but with new innovative services. Do you want to do SendGrid Labs R&D? And I said, I do. They said, where do you want to do it? And I said, where else but in Providence? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, so, you guys, would you say you operate kind of as a skunk works? We absolutely are a skunk works. And when something, you feel like something's done, you go back to the mothership. We do. And you say, sell this. We say sell this. You know, see, one thing that we do is anything that we build, we build for the developer. SendGrid as a whole sell, um, builds services for developers. So we're not building something for a whole different demographic or a different customer base in labs. We're building things that already that would satisfy needs of our existing customers. And we think we have enough traction, and we do this this traction uh, things, and we we test it, we we talk to people, we build the product, we get input. And we think we have enough traction. We communicate with the mothership. And then we get them to talk to our real customers of SendGrid, and we see if it makes sense, and if people want to adopt it, use the technology, and then we go from there. And, and you're hiring here in Rhode Island, right? We're hiring everywhere with SendGrid, but in particular, yes, we are still hiring here in Providence for R&D. In addition, not only just R&D, but if somebody wants to work for SendGrid, and they want to work in a different area of the company, since we have a presence here in Providence, they're able to... You can make it happen. We can make it happen. So how do they go and find out about these wonderful so jobs? So they go to sengrid.com slash careers.html. Look there. You can see all the jobs available. Or just reach me directly at Mike Rowan on Twitter. At Mike Rowan on Twitter. Or Mike at sengrid.com. And if we don't have something available, maybe we do. It's just not posted yet. I'm willing to talk to anybody. Point them in the right direction. Mike, thanks so much for coming out and uh, telling us about what you're up to. This is really, really cool stuff. Great. It was fun.